Today we are taking a look at Apex M800 from SteelSeries. It should be their top of the line mechanical gaming keyboard, but is it actually any good? Stick around and find out. The packaging is simple but functional and impresses me with its unintrusive design. Similar experience is continued on the inside of the box. In it we find only the user manual, the switchable rubber feet for the bottom side of the keyboard and the keyboard itself. No thick instruction manuals in 101 languages, a very minimized presentation that is pretty surprising given the product's pricing. When we first took it out of the box we were surprised by the product size. It takes up so much space, I would say roughly two times as much as a normal 104 key mechanical keyboard. That is due to the Apex series design that isn't standard utilitarian or simplistic, but they have curves. Some will like them, some just won't, but I personally don't really fancy it as it takes up too much valuable desk space, although it looks quite nice. Most of the desk space takes up the wrist rest that is included and hardwired into the keyboard if you will. At first glance it doesn't hold any useful function but after longer periods of use we, we found that we had substantially less wrist stress so we are confident it helps in preventing carpal tunnel syndrome from occurring. It is made as every other element of the keyboard from hard texturized plastic. When intentionally bending it, it flexes more than their competitors but that is never to be noticed when normally using the device. The only non-texturized part of the keyboard are the keys themselves. The experience of these is different. It's different from Apex RAW, where I had the feeling that I had to press through the physical membrane of the switch for it to be registered. It is different from Cherry MX based keyboards. By that I don't mean that it's bad, quite the opposite really. To me with its low resistance of 45 grams and linear mechanical movement that resembles MX Reds as well as the incredibly small distance of a millimeter and a half to registration is quite satisfying as I could type faster after initial getting used to phase. At Steel Series, they say that the M800 is the fastest mechanical keyboard in the world and given my experience with the QS1 switches inside that should also have a lifetime expectancy of over 60 million clicks and a 2 core processor that can register over 250 clicks at once, that is quite possible. If we are already on the subject of keys we have to mention the lighting. As you could have probably seen from the video, you can adjust the whole RGB color spectrum, so over 16.7 million colors. So what you think? In this price range, almost every keyboard has a comparable experience when, as far as lighting goes, the fact that there's a difference is quite obvious. On Apex the lighting is completely consistent, there is no brighter or darker zones on specific keyboards, not even on the whole keyboard itself, as you can get on other Cherry MX based keyboards. The reasoning behind that is the QS which is designed that positions the LED light at the middle of the mechanism. You can really see SteelSeries attention to detail on the M800 that they went and colored the actual insides of the switches so that it diffuses the color even more so that it is more consistent. On the left side the manufacturer added 6 programmable macro buttons. With them we can open programs, use actions with adjustable delays that are very useful in MMORPGs to control programs such as live streaming and setting up scripts as well as every other use case scenario that I haven't mentioned. All of the aforementioned can be adjusted in the SteelSeries Engine 3 software that is well made, easy to use and is not intrusive in everyday use and that is quite, quite honestly the biggest compliment I can give to a driver or software. But everything isn't as perfect as I made it out to be this far in the review. I truly hate that SteelSeries opted to include a USB 2.0 hub so we buy a keyboard that costs 200 euros that has RGB lighting and a 2 core ARM processor and we get 15 euro technology technology and connectivity speeds with additional devices. I find the lack of structural integrity worrying as well, as it is all too flexible when intentionally testing its rigidity. And if I'm already at the negatives, the fact that we can only adjust the, the angle at which the keyboard sits for about a half a centimeter through the use of different rubber studs, that is a bit too little to change the ergonomic features if we don't like them as they are default. I can safely say that the Apex M800 from SteelSeries is a decent enough keyboard if you want something different, something that not every other person has, but it definitely has its flaws and therefore it is your call if you like its curves or if you would like a slimline, streamlined version of something else. 
Thanks for watching this review on Discharge Networks. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.